Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We're at the Flash Memory Summit in Santa Clara 2016. Obviously, we're here talking about flash and flash storage, but what about object storage? That's getting a lot of interest as well. How do these two environments work together and complement each other? Joining me on the whiteboard to talk about that, I've invited Hal Woods. He's the uh, CTO of the Data Center Systems Business Unit at uh, HCST. Hal, thanks for joining us today. I'm glad to do it. Okay, so let's talk about this. Where, what is the role of flash with object storage? Okay, so if we think about a typical workflow in a customer's environment, I have a bunch of sensors which are going to feed into some temporary storage for maybe some real-time analytics, that sort of thing, sure. and that's typically going to be SSD. Okay. As data flows out of the system and into a more of a persistent store, this is where I'm really going to have my, my object store. Okay. In an object store, I really have kind of two layers of storage. I have uh, SSD, where maybe it uh, is temporarily or for smaller objects or for metadata, and then I have HDD. And so, in a typical object store, I'm, I'm using a lot of SSD as well as HDD, but it's also part of a workflow that has a lot of SSD involved. Well, and I know that one of the things we talk about in object storage is how it how quickly it can handle the metadata processing and things like that, right? Because these these sensors might say, hey, I'm serial number XYZ, and right. it has to track all that. So the SSD helps to move that along quicker? Yeah, ab absolutely. Okay. I, I can put it in here. I can do my quick analytics on it close to the CPU. Mm -hmm. And then as that data starts to age out, I'm going put it, to put it in the object store. Got it. OK. So we've been talking about about object storage for quite a while now. What are some real world use cases that you've run into where object storage is really delivering value? Well, there's a great one uh, with the San Diego Supercomputer Center. Okay. So the Supercomputer Center down in San Diego does a lot of uh, genome research. Okay. And so one of the interesting use cases uh, is with our active archive is installed down at SDCC. And one of the things they do is they work with some of the local children's hospitals okay. to take that genomics work. They will take a, a gravely ill infant, maybe okay. with a life expectancy of only 60 days. Right. And they will do a, a full DNA sequence on that, which currently takes six days, or 10% of the expected lifetime of that infant. Mm -hmm. Using object storage plus SSD, they can do something to help that patient. What they can do is they can draw from the massive amounts of data that's been stored from the genomic sequencing. Uh, and, and do analytics based on the, the uh, genome sequence they do of the infant and tr figure out the best course of treatment for that infant. Wow, okay. So then, and that all should then also probably compress that time down as well, right? Well, it can, but there's another key element there. Okay. The, the amount of storage in an object store allows them to draw from a massive database of other, other people who maybe have a similar affliction. Right. And so they can, they can then use that along with the, the infant's uh, DNA sequence and maybe figure out a course of treatment that wouldn't be possible without that massive amount wow. of data okay. to draw so from. Okay, so more of an intelligence and better decision-making sort of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. It, okay. just, it just brings a whole new element to patient care. Okay. And then I, I would assume, though, that, that there's a pretty big cost problem there, too, right? Storing all that genomics data. Is that where object storage really helps us keep that cost under control? Well, so a key thing about object storage, it's a very cost-effective way to do it. Right. Uh, with, with our active archive, we actually store things uh, with a certain erasure code that gives us a great deal of efficiency. Okay. So rather than having to do replication of 2 or 3 or 4x, right. uh, we're able to do that with, with uh, almost 50% uh, efficiency. So it's a little bit better than just 2x, and it gets you uh, 15 nines of durability. Oh, okay. So better protection with less data consumption or That's storage right. consumption. Abs absolutely. Okay. Well, um, Hal, thanks for joining us today. Oh, glad to do it. Appreciate thanks. it. So there you have it. Flash and object really work hand in hand to deliver a better overall experience for both the user and the application. And then now you also have a real world example of how people are using object storage to improve, in this case, patient care. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.